number 18 Safe Light Auto Glass Toyota Tundra. And I'm Chase Wilhelm, reporter for NASCAR.com. Welcome to the trip. All right, so we're just leaving Charlotte Motor Speedway. You took some practice laps for the day, getting your truck warmed up, ready oh, to yeah. go. And you know what? You also need to get ready for the Triple Truck Challenge. That's you right. You got three racetracks coming up Texas, Iowa, Gateway for $50,000 a piece, and there's some extra bonus money too if you can win even more than one. All the way up to a half a million dollars, man. Yeah. How you feeling about it? I feel good. Those are some of my strongest tracks. I almost won Iowa last year. We had a really strong t uh, truck at Texas uh, last year. I wrecked at Texas this year, so that's not good. But uh, we'll see how it goes this time around. But I feel really good about it. And uh, Gateway is a really fun racetrack as well. I don't have as much uh, experience in the truck there as some other places. But, um, you know, I'm excited to, uh, to go for that that big money hopefully I can uh, get some for me and my guys and we'll have a, a good day well that's the thing that's the cool th part about it is that if you win two you get you get the 50,000 again and then you also get another bonus but the but the catch is you got to share it with your crew guys which I'm yeah. sure you don't mind how you feel no. about showing your crew members some love I'll, uh, if we win one I'll probably give them some of the first money we get anyway uh, <laughs> if not if I don't they'll probably be uh, holding that against me forever so um, you know I, I'm, I'm excited those guys work their butts off for for this deal and uh, I work really hard too but but those guys give up time with their families and, and loved ones to, to build a truck for me to go and win races in so um, you know those guys are the ones that really do all the work and, and I'm just lucky enough to to be the guy that gets to drive the trucks for them and uh, and have fun doing it so out of the three tracks which ones are you feeling most confident about it could be all three it could be zero or one or two what, what's your feeling i think i feel the best about iowa yeah uh yeah that place really matches my style i love that racetrack i've uh raced there a couple times i got my first truck series pole there uh which was a really cool moment in my career so hopefully we can uh build on that momentum and and go and uh run iowa really well that, that place is so fun for drivers because it's got tons of room for you to race and, and multiple groups so mm -hmm. you're all over the place and and beating and banging on a short track and yeah it's awesome yeah, yeah. all right so you are literally fresh out of high school you just yeah. finished your final exam yeah. how do you feel good relieved um that was a, a hard thing to try and balance high school and racing and um you know kind of trying to work that in and then actually have somewhat of a life and and enjoy myself some as well and, and racing was kind of that like my only time I was off I felt like was when I was racing which isn't much of an off time you're working your <laughs> butt off but uh, it's a lot of fun for me so it feels like off time and um, you know I think that uh, I'm excited to, to now be able to focus more on racing because I'm done with high school uh, and I can stop doing homework every night and I can do uh, study for so I can study for races and, and watch race film and a lot of things like that that uh, I felt like I was getting um, a disadvantage for because I was so busy um, with with high school and stuff that I couldn't I could never feel like I could prepare properly so now I feel like I'll spend enough time on, on preparation and, and getting dialed in so the studying really doesn't stop for you it no. just goes from something not as fun to something fun yeah I'm, I'm way good <laughs> with studying for racing uh, that's a lot more fun it's just watching races and, and uh, I'm a big race fan so I, I enjoy myself studying for racing and, and doing simulator stuff and everything so um, you know, if I wasn't racing, I'd be watching races every weekend for sure and, and enjoying them. So which uh, was your hardest exam? Uh, calculus. Ooh, but I got an A in, the, in this trimester. I got an A. Really? That's pretty good. Yeah, I was really shocked because I got like a C the first trimester. And I think I got a C again the second one. And then I really, I got a tutor and I pulled it out, pulled out an A. So, so I don't know. So I bet your dad's pretty proud of you for getting yeah, an A in calculus. Yeah, my mom, my, so my mom is actually a... Uh, math major and she oh, taught really? math so she was pumped uh, did she put the pressure on you since she was a math major a like bit. come on Harrison she, you can get this yeah man. I think I got more of my dad's education uh, educational mind going on in me which he didn't go to college so uh, he was just a, he went to high school and he said he hated every second of it so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got that's a race we're talking yeah, about so <laughs> I got I got more of that in me than my mom for sure so what's the next step for you then like i know you want to focus on your racing career but then a, a lot of drivers are, are going to college and getting that education that your your uh your dad went on to race and didn't go to college but now you want to do that yeah i want to i want to you know try and do both um mm -hmm. i want to do online school as well i think it's a really great great platform nowadays that 
um, it wasn't available for my dad. There was no way that if I had to go on site, there was no way I could go to college. And, and I think that my dad would go to college or would have gone to college if he wouldn't have had the opportunities he had. And um, I'm not advocating to not go to college. I promise that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think that um, you know, I think it's smart to go to college and, and get your education that way and, and learn and. Uh, Hopefully, I can you know accomplish racing and that at the same time. So, where are you thinking about going? Is there any schools that really stick out to you? Yeah, if I was smart enough, I'd go to Duke, but I don't <laughs> even know if they have an online program. Just because I love the sports teams, but I think I'm going to go to Arizona State University. Well, yeah, dude, you got online. you got an A in calculus, so that you can go to Duke. Uh, I believe in you. No, 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 there's no way, man. <laughs> no, I, I took too light of a class limit for for Duke, um, but Arizona State I think might be an option, and we'll see. I haven't. Um, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to uh, to apply or anything yet, so I haven't got a, a yes back from them, but they got a yes from me, hopefully, so hopefully that works out good. <laughs> nice, well there you go. Yeah. So when you're when you're driving down the road, okay, mm -hmm. dude, now be honest, Yeah. how many speeding tickets have you got? I've gotten zero. I drive like a grandma, you, you don't drive like a, Yeah, dude, I'm slow. I wasn't going to say anything, but we've been driving like five miles under the speed limit yeah. since we started this deal. Uh, yeah, no, but on the highway, you expose yourself. On the highway, you see, I, I crank it up a little bit, but I'm a cautious driver. I've seen, uh, you know, I've seen uh, drivers wreck their streetcars and stuff because they, they're very confident in their driving abilities, mm -hmm. and then um, the streetcars don't necessarily handle like a, a race car, so when you get yourself <laughs> in trouble, it's harder to get yourself out of trouble. So, um, no, but I've gotten zero speeding tickets, and um, that's a good thing for sure. Look at that. There's my sister. You know those people? There's my sister and my <laughs> PR guy. Yeah. Look at that. My sister actually, uh, she works with me, and she's always traveling around with me, uh, handling my social media stuff, so we have a cool bond that way. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, trying see, they're, they're trying to race you. They're tired of going slow behind me. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they've been following us, his sister and his PR guy, and Harrison's been going five miles under. This might be the day where Harrison Burke gets the first <laughs> This ticket. might be the first ticket, yeah. <laughs> for sure. And then I will never be allowed to ride with him ever again. Yeah, my mom will hate no. you, man. She'll hate me? If I get a ticket. She'll, under your supervision. Under my supervision. <laughs> so I'm, I am now a... Babysitter. Yeah, I'm a babysitter uh -huh. of Harrison Burke. You graduated high school. There's a though, cop. So. There well, is. Well, look at that. Yeah, you better watch them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, they're yeah. always around. There's a cop right there. They're always around. Yeah, look at them over there. They're antagonizing us. Yeah, they want me to get in trouble for the video. So no speeding tickets, but do you have any? Do you have road rage? Like I know you can probably oh, get yeah. fiery on the radio, but what's I get, it like? I get mad on the radio and in the, I, dude, I I get mad and 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 I don't always go five under. Uh, I normally go about <laughs> five over, but I'm multitasking here. I'm yeah. doing interviews and stuff, you know, trying to trying to dial it in, but. Um, you know, I think that um, I do get a little bit of road rage, but I get worse when I'm racing and, and someone yeah. does something that makes me mad. I say some things that my mom doesn't like that I say over the radio, and uh, I get myself into a little trouble there. But oh, that's all really? right. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's she understands it. She's been through the the deal. She was, you know, with my dad for 20 years in Cup, so that's uh, she's seen plenty of uh, fights and people getting yelled at and all that. So she's kind of used to that that culture that's in racing and uh that's a good thing because it keeps me a little bit out of trouble for sure so aside from um your dad obviously which i'm sure you that's the first person you go to yeah. for advice obviously yeah. and then also your your uncle warburton who is somebody that maybe another veteran driver that you go to or is it just like you just go to your dad and like that's it like is there anybody else uh there's definitely other people um you know i'm lucky enough to race for kyle bush who's one of the you know best drivers in the, in the sport right now and and probably ever he's, he's just crazy talented so um sometimes that he you know sometimes he's just so good that it's hard to learn from him because he's just like you could do that right and i'm like i mean yeah <laughs> but uh <laughs> but I, i'm trying to, to get to where he's at and then um i go to kevin harvick who's the same way just stupid stupidly talented and, and really smart uh smart racer and and i think that i combine all their advice and then you know my dad and kevin and and kyle and uh, then I kind of take that to the racetrack along with me and then I can kind of figure out which one I think fits me the most because you'll call all three of them or talk to all three of them and they'll all say the same thing or some, the different, a different thing about the same you know, question. So mm -hmm. um, it's not always cut and dry about what you do in racing, which I think is really cool. Um, it's a lot like you know, 
the NFL, for example, where quarterbacks can be, you know, pure passing quarterbacks or rushing quarterbacks or whatever. Uh, there's driver styles as well that, that kind of go into play. And um, it's hard when you're a young guy because you see people winning doing something that you feel like if you did, you would go way slower. So um, it's hard to learn from, but I think that the more you can kind of pick through their advice and learn from it, uh, the better you'll be. So is it – what is the pressure to like to – to race for a guy like Kyle Busch, who expects a lot out of himself and in turn expects a lot out of his drivers and, and his race team? Um, you know what? I, I think it's a good thing. Um, it's a lot of pressure for sure, uh, but it keeps you motivated. It keeps yeah. you hungry. You know, you want to be Kyle Busch. That's a guy you want to be like. You want to win races like he does. You want to um, set high expectations for yourself like he does and, and things like that. Um, when you're a driver and you could think, wow, if I was – if I could do the things that he did, I would have an amazing career. And, and so um, you look at guys like him and Jimmy Johnson and people that have just, just done everything in the sport, mm -hmm. um, and you want to be like them. So now I have have a guy like Kyle Busch that, that is in the race shop almost every um, every day, and, and he's in there a lot for, for meetings and stuff, and um, I can ask him questions. So uh, it's a lot of pressure because you hold yourself to a higher standard now because expect yourself to do well in his equipment he has great trucks um and and then in turn um you know i think you learn a lot from that so what's it like having uh todd gillen as a as a teammate what's your guys relationship it's like? fun we used yeah. to be like our rivals. Right? really yeah so so now you have a bromance basically i i don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how far i'll go with the bromance thing but uh yeah it's 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 fun me and todd grew up racing against each other and we were always racing you know for the win against each other because uh it's just the way it worked out when we were in quarter midgets back when we were seven eight nine we were racing each other and, and racing hard for wins and then uh we moved up to to late models both of us and um he had you know david gillen racing was was his team and and i drove for for fury and and you know for my dad for a little bit there and um it was like this big rivalry between uh, even like uh dgr was you know the the Toyota satellite team for super late models and then you had Fury race cars which me and my other teammate Christian Eckes drove for yeah uh, and there was like a big rivalry between DGR and Fury race cars and we had a group chat and we would always tech, talk smack to each other oh whatever. nice but uh, so it wasn't like I mean like you guys still we still like each other with no each we other, weren't yeah. gonna you know punch each other in the yeah. face or anything but um, but we went to the racetrack and there was no one I wanted to beat more than Todd Gillan uh, and it's still that way it's still that way, I think, for both of us. I think that when you are in the same equipment as someone and, and you don't perform as well as they do and their team does, uh, you take that personally and you want to go and beat them next time. So um, I joke with Todd because uh, one of us has – It's it seems like we've both not had good races uh, at the same time. Like one of us will finish third and the next one will finish tenth and then it will switch the other way around. So um, it's, fun to, it's fun to have that dynamic and – have a good time with him and then also uh, have that motivation as well to try and beat him. So let's put you, we'll put you in a scenario then. Okay. And to test your relationship. Oh, man. It's the white flag lap, you and, and in the trucks, in the uh, triple truck challenge. Okay. Okay. So extra 50K and, on the line? Yeah, extra 50K okay. on the line. And you guys are both, you were within striking distance of Todd. He's leading the race. Okay. Okay. Well, he wouldn't be leading if this was real. Yeah. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> I would be leading he just at blew, that point. He just blew up my whole scenario. No, you go ahead with your scenario. All right, yeah. all right. I know what you're going to ask, though. Yeah. Would I hit him? What do you, what do, you do? Yeah, I, I, I think that he would do, I don't know. I no, think, what would you where do? Where are we at? What track are we at? Uh, We'll start out right at Texas. Texas? Yeah. That's hard, because if you hit him, you're probably both going to wreck. So I'd try and race him clean. Yeah. Uh, I would make an aggressive move. But if you go to Iowa, on the other hand, you can kind of door slam a little slam, bit yeah. yeah so um so it's situational i think that the rule for both of us is make sure that one of us wins okay don't take both of us out yeah um and and make sure a kvm truck wins and make sure that the other one finishes second okay um but other than that it's all kind of so move them up the hill a little yeah move them up the hill and then yeah. go yeah that's the plan Okay. That's the plan. I like that. Yeah. But I like your first answer about how is he even in the lead in the first yeah, place because you'll be there. That's right. Yeah. 
So you are still searching for your, I say still, you're young. I don't, yeah. you're <laughs> not still. <laughs> yeah. You get your, you are on your way to your first career Gander Outdoor Truck Series win at some point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're driving for, uh, for a great race team. You got a great truck underneath you. So have you thought about the celebration? Oh man. That you're going to do? Cause there's some drivers that have the signature ones, like your boss does the bow and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. What about you? You got anything cooked up? No, well, but I'm open to suggestions. Open to suggestions. Okay. I don't know. I think that I, I'm gonna get out and yell and scream and lose my voice. And I, every time I win, I lose my voice because I just scream so loud. I would scream too. Yeah, I'm I'd probably up. scream in, in like fear because you guys are driving so fast and I'm not a race car driver. Oh no, it's so like, <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. It's all good. But yeah. uh, I do like speed though, so yeah. maybe maybe I wouldn't. But. So I'm sure there's going to be some sort of like reply or comment section below us on this video. So if you have any celebration ideas for my yeah. boy Harrison, he would gladly take them. For sure. Yeah, and like, even a new thing. Like Noah kind of stole Tony Stewart's deal where he climbs up on the fence. I thought you were talking, talking about him throwing up at Martin's. No, that was also pretty signature. I, thought, but I don't think he can throw up every time. I say that's not going to be his healthy. deal. Yeah, it's not healthy. I think he climbs a fence every race, but... I think he stole it from Tony Stewart, so I don't, I'm trying to be original, original. You know, I need some, some help with that. Well, sure. that takes out the back flip. Yeah, um, and I don't think I could do a back You flip. could do a front flip. You could do a front flip. I mean, that's <laughs> that's different. Yeah, you just do a front flip, right? Um, so Austin Dillon has the slide to the grass part. That's pretty sweet. Uh, that he gets hate cool. on that, but I, I kind of like it. There was one time where he got stuck, it was so that funny. didn't work out. Yeah, so he it's like, like nose dive yeah, in there. It's yeah. like planted his face right in there. <laughs> Um, let's see here. What would be a good one? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, it's but hard. that's a, that is a tough one. So he, I don't. He dabs a lot now too. Yeah, that's you got the dabbing thing. You could do like a little floss. Yeah, <laughs> kids are doing. Dude, that'd be yeah. bad. I think I'd get. I think you made fun of for that one because you're so young. It'd be like. I'm yeah. trying to get rid of the high school stuff. Yeah, right? I think so. I think I'm trying to. I'm trying to move past the Fortnite dances. You know. Yeah. You could like. You could eat a piece of avocado toast, like, <laughs> and just like, at, like, just get out of your race car and just like eat a piece of toast and Man. go like, you and know, go like eat, like eat, eat. I just won. Eat. I just won. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, man. I, no, I don't that's know. not cool. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> Probably I'll, not. You don't have to lie to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that like hip. I, yeah. The fact that I said hip probably shows you that. That you're not hip? No, I'm not. I'm not hip either. Yeah, I'm just like an old dude, basically. I'm more liable to break a hip than be hip. I'm yeah, sorry, I get that. me too. So, I had a gray hair the other day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 18, dude. I got a gray hair. Harrison, are you sure that wasn't the light that was I like on here? I plucked it out and everything. Oh, so you're not your... So he has no more gray hair. He plucked, he plucked the one out. It's gone. I got one. Gosh. Racing's a stressful lifestyle. I, was saying, I think that's what I think that's what's going on. You're gonna be all gray by the time. There's something to that though. Yeah. I think it would look good. Yeah. You see, get like the just for men touch of gray look going on. If if he shows up to the racetrack <laughs> with salt pepper look, you know where it came from. That's right. But yeah, it's a, it's experience. Yeah. Or yeah. Experience. 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 That's right. So what kind of pet peeves do you have? It could be like on the racetrack and off. On the racetrack, I hate it when people. Um, I don't know, man. I hate it. I hate a lot of things people do on the racetrack. Like when they, I don't know. Like it's finish. what, yeah, finish in front of you. Yeah. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> stop doing that. Yeah, you guys need to stop. <laughs> um, when they take your air away and make you airtight, that's annoying, but that's their job. So you uh -huh. can't get mad at them, but you're frustrated. Um, I think losing, losing downforce in traffic is like my biggest pet peeve. And then off the racetrack, like, you know the noise that people make when they chew really loud? Oh, yes. I, that kind of bothers me a little bit. Like when but, people chew their gum? Oh, it's just like, like really, smack, smack, smack. It's like it's like a cow chewing cud. <laughs> yeah. Almost. That's like, that's the worst. Yeah, for sure. That's, yeah, that's up there. I'll agree with you there. So, um, since you're racing in the Gander Outdoors Truck Series... Do you do anything outdoors? Like, do you do you like living outdoors? Sure. I, know, I know your yeah. uncle, your uncle Ward. Yeah, he's very outdoors. Yeah, I don't like think he's come out of the woods since he retired from racing. <laughs> um, other than to show us what he's trapped and shot or whatever it may be. No, do you eat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. Yeah. You have to, or else it's not, it's not the right thing to do. That's yeah. our rule. If 
you kill it, you gotta eat it. That's the Burton family rule. So well, there you go. Um, Man, I'm going to dinner at your house. Yeah, dude, it's good. <laughs> Get some. If you go to South Boston, Virginia, you go uh, find Uncle War, see what he's got cooking up that night. It's uh, he just needs a beard now. If he's like living in the woods, basically, and mm-hmm. he's just that like long beard will come. It'd be sweet. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll so do you ever go home? With him? Uh, I have before. Yeah. Um, I've gotten really busy recently trying to finish school and, and do all that, and mm-hmm. I haven't been able to. Uh, but I like fishing more than hunting. Yeah? I'm a big, yeah, I love fishing. I love being on the water. and, and Go to Lake Norman and just kind of... Yeah, yeah. I like I like Lake Norman, and, and I like uh, I like going offshore, saltwater fishing. Oh, that's that. cool. Yeah, yeah. You do it big, then. You know, oh, yeah, you, yeah. Are an, you are a professional. You got to go all fishing. in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. My, my grandpa kind of passed that down. My mom's dad... Um, kind of pass that down to me he's he's a really really good fisherman and mm-hmm. he kind of tells me all his secrets and that's fun and i get to go and use them and take credit for them so <laughs> thanks grandpa appreciate it and uh yeah now when you got when you were little and like and and traveling like the cup scene like with your with your dad and all that stuff like what are some of your fondest memories of, of like what is, yeah just like if you could pick out maybe one or two that are like really cool i know all the kids that like that grew up around the racetrack will agree with this one. Like the playgrounds at the racetracks. Oh, we got people running red lights on camera here. Are, we, do we, I think we probably got Watching that. Watching you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, see, he he keeps track of people too, making sure they right. stay safe. That's right. Call Safety them out. First. Yeah. Wear your seat exactly. Belt. Got the seatbelt on. <laughs> but uh, no, I think that. Um, what was your question? Uh, <laughs> just like what kind of what kind of memories do you have? Like traveling. Oh travel yeah. With your dad so I think all stuff. the kids that that have kind of grown up and racing and and been around the big tracks their whole life i think that they will all agree that the playgrounds at each racetrack like you you knew each racetrack by its playground um one had a slide one had you know monkey bars whatever it may be uh and i think just the memories i had doing crazy stuff in those playgrounds with my buddies were that was really fun you cut you cut that close I know my exact <laughs> dimensions of the you're, vehicle. Right oh, okay. You I'm, you I'm, planned that. That was strategic. Strategic. Okay. Yeah. Just like on the racetrack. Yeah. I get it. Okay. I know the exact know dimensions of my vehicle all the way up until the point of impact. Oh. And then it gets a little murky. I'd say that after that, you know, you know, you cross the line there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, sure. that's awesome. So, who's the toughest driver to pass in the racetrack? Oh, I don't know. There's there's three that come to mind as soon as you say that. Okay. Uh, full time, well, I guess kind of sort of full time. Kyle Bush would be the number one, but he's not always there, so I, he would be the hardest guy I've ever tried to pass. Um, then you go to the full time truck guys, and you got my three would be Matt Crafton, Johnny Sauter, and Ross Chastain. Is are like the hardest guys to pass? Okay, guarantee. Like that seems like a popular answer. Like that? That, it just like Crafton it seems like they Sauter. all have the yeah, and even Chastain. Oh, like, yeah. They're all just like. They make their trucks as wide as possible. Oh yeah, dude! Like, they're on it. That, and I want, I want to be that way. So, yeah. you know, hats off to them. But uh, Chastain is really good about working air, um, and he's just aggressive. One man. of your pet peeves. Yeah, one of my pet peeves. <laughs> uh, I love it when I'm doing it to other people though, and I watch them go up the racetrack after I take their airway and slow down a little bit. That's great. But, is that cool? Like, see, for me, like something like like a small victory is like me shooting like a paper into a basket. It's like, yeah. oh, sweet, just made it. It's for you, it's like, oh, I just got the air off his truck. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm still pumped about getting a paper into a yeah, basket too. That, that'll never get old. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, that no matter get, if you don't, Kobe Bryant or you know Harrison Burton shooting paper in the basket always gets you know. I like always gets, gets real. Yeah, Look I think that. I think I compare myself to Kobe Bryant athletically. Yeah, I'm more of a I'm more of a Shaq at the at the free throw line kind of, <laughs> yeah. kind of basketball player. Yeah, that player. if I'm being honest, that's how I am as yeah. well. Yeah, for sure. So when you're when you're riding, and I'm not talking your ear off, which is the majority of the time. What what kind of music do you listen to? What's on the what's on the radio? Depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah. If I'm mad, I like rap. Okay. Uh, if I'm like mad or like pumped up i like rap if i'm just cruising down the road i like country music mm-hmm. um then sometimes if you throw in to the mad and motivated kind of thing i like rock and roll as well all right so i, I like kind of like it all yeah. yeah i think my more go-to would be probably rap just because okay. you know i'm a millennial like kevin harvick's car <laughs> um yeet as they say yeah but yeah well, you did it there you yeah, go there it is so um What's your favorite karaoke song then? Because I see you doing the like the thing with 
with Toyota and all that. The, the carry. We don't choose stuff. our songs, man. I would choose some sweet songs. If you could choose your song, though, what would it be? If I could choose my song. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite karaoke song? Dude, if you're just I like think him, for like it. Bohemian Rhapsody is a good. That's a good one. Song. Yeah. I'm surprised an 18 year old is will rock out to that. That's right. I'm in. I, this is yeah. an old soul over here. Look at him. Yeah, I told you. I, my favorite car that like. I've ever seen is my dad's 57 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, wow. Yeah, I That's shouldn't say nice Chevy, cool. but... And you shouldn't say old. Yeah, your, true. Your dad's experienced. My dad's old. experienced <laughs> car is 57 Bel Air. There you uh, go. Yeah, but no, I that and um, I kind of like both. I like the new... Uh, this is actually not a sponsored plug because <laughs> I love this car. Uh, the new Supra that just came out. Ooh, those are. Is sweet. I will agree. That I that is beyond one. a sponsor plug. That's just. I want straight up sexy. I want one. Right I'm trying to get one. Yeah. Working hard on it. Well, I think so we'll I see. think you drive for a good manufacturer. I think I know the right people. Could, yeah. I, I know the right people one. for sure. For sure. Yeah, we'll try and get one. Well, man, we are back home from the racetrack. Yep. Or back to your home. My home. Yeah, beautiful home. Thank you. And. Good luck to you Thank for you. the Triple Truck Challenge. Damn, Three excited. races, you can win up to a half a million dollars. Treat Sweet. your crew members, treat your parents, treat yeah. your sister, treat yeah. your PR guy. Yeah, hey. Maybe not him. Treat everyone. No, I'm just kidding. Not the, not the PR guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just be like Oprah Winfrey throwing money. Yeah, just like you get a you get a money, you get money, you get a car, you That'd get a Supra. 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 I there might buy go. a Supra with it. Well, that's true. Well, if that, I, Hey, if I win the money, expect gonna, me in a white Supra. Well... We will. <laughs> I, I can see that happening. Yeah, I can hopefully. see it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate good luck. it. Yes, good luck over the next three races. Yes, and go get sure. the money, man. That sounds good. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it.